Welcome back to the tutorial series on how to use the application Zoom. In this video we will be discussing how to um, use the chat feature within Zoom, but before we get started I again want to thank you for donating your time to Colorado Legal Services. Alrighty, so when you're already in a meeting with a client um, and maybe there's like a name that you want to spell out um, that you don't want to have to use like the NATO dictionary to spell out, um, or maybe there's a URL that you want to share, it will be really helpful for you to utilize the chat feature. So to do that, um, just move around your mouse until this toolbar pops up at the bottom, and then you're going to click on the chat option. Cool. So when you are chatting with the clients, um, you have the option of messaging everyone, which is what is currently highlighted. So everyone will get whatever message you put in. So if I said, hi everyone, you can see that everyone has received this message. However, if I wanted to message just a specific attendee, um, I do have the option to do so. That can be good for asking private questions, um, for giving private information. To send a private message, you will select the name of the person that you'd like to send the message to. So I'll select Ron because he is my only attendee. You'll notice that next to his name, it says the word privately. That is how you know it is only going to him and not everyone. So I can say, hi Ron, would you like that last? URL I was talking about. And you can see, unlike the first one that was sent to everyone, this one's sent directly to Ron and it says privately next to it. So you can tell that only Ron received that. And then you can choose to respond to me privately or in a in a public manner, but just by clicking everyone. Um, he's saying yes, that he would like that URL, so I'm going to copy and paste the URL that we were using earlier into this message, and then click enter. And as you can see, the nice thing about the chat feature is that it's going to automatically hyperlink any URL that you type into it. So your attendees can just click on it, and it'll take them directly to that web page makes things a little bit easier, it takes out an extra step. Um, once you're done with the meeting, if you want to save a chat, um, all you have to do is click Save Chat, and then this is going to save in the same spot that your recordings are saving. Show it in Finder, and then it's just going to save in our documents in a meeting that will be labeled the year, the month, and the day, and then just the name of your meeting. So it's like recordings, they're also going to be found in this folder in your documents. Alrighty, so that is how you use the chat feature within Zoom.